The first tip that we have for you is that when using these DMC soft cotton threads, to start using the skin of threads, you should pull the end of the thread that is coming from the side with a larger etiquette. We recommend you to cut a piece of thread not longer than 50 cm. Reason being is that due to the continual backwards and forwards movements through the canvas, the thread will wear gradually until it is much thinner than it was originally. Also, if you are working with a smaller stitch, like the 10th stitch, it is advisable that you use an even shorter length. Although the tapestry needle has a larger eye compared to a regular needle, this DMC soft cotton skins comes with five non-divisible strands, which we recommend to use them fully when doing needle point. So, to start, the best way to thread the needle is to fold a bit of one of the ends of the piece of the thread over the eye end of your needle, and holding it tightly between the thumb and the first finger, extract the needle. Insert the resulting small fold through the needle's eye and pull the thread through the eye. If you have a piece of paper like this, wide enough to fit through the eye of the needle, you fold the piece of paper and put the end of the thread like so and then you just need to pass the paper through the eye of the needle and push it. To start a new piece of thread on an empty part of the canvas a good method is to hold about 2 cm of thread on the back of the canvas with the help of your non-dominant hand. And stitch over it until it is firmly secured. Another tip that we have for your stitching process is that it should always work like this under, over, under, over, as in, your stitches should come from under the canvas and then plunge back in over. Your stitches should be worked firmly to produce an even tension, otherwise the finished work won't look good. The thread should be taken right through to the back or front of the canvas in each stitch before being inserted again for the start of the next stitch. This will facilitate an even tension and results in a less wear of the thread. Now to finish the piece of thread, our recommendation is not to leave just a little bit of thread, but a space long enough to secure the end of the thread in the back of an area that was already stitched, like this. Finally, we just cut the remaining threads with the help of a scissors.